the day kings and queens my name is erica and this channel is called love is the main key in this video i will show you how to make a wine basket and save money using unconventional items and make it fabulous okay so if you want to see what i created stay tuned we're going to make something out of very unconventional items here are the materials you'll need the wine basket, right? So you're going to need a bottle of wine of your choice. Try to choose a bottle of wine that you know the person would like. Hopefully you have some type of interest and you know kind of what the person like. The person I'm whining, gifting this to, I'm in this little whining group that I was invited to because they know I like wine and I like sharing and giving. I know this person loves a good Moscato. Okay? So I got them a Moscato out of a brand that I like. The Barefoot, that brand is delicious. It's not on the cheap side and it's not on the expensive side. So it's kind of like in the middle. And this basket, again, this person um, is a couponer. She actually used to um, sell products. So I got that. And I'm color coordinating it. So you see this is a blue coupon little um, little booklet. And I only paid a dollar for this. This is the good buy. So just make sure you take off the tag and everything. Okay, you all? She has a family, so I kept that in mind so her family can indulge in her whiny basket as well. And I know the family personally, so I know her kids would enjoy. This is sparkling red grape juice. And this is a sparkling cider, okay? So her kids and husband can enjoy in that non-alcoholic beverage. And then these two items go with the color thing. This is blue. This is blue. I just put in the textured hair that they have. And I know she washed and blow dried her beautiful hair a lot. So this is the um from the Disney Resorts collection. I just got a shampoo and a conditioner. free advertising, putting some of my business cards in there for them. <laughs> okay. It was a couple of containers I wanted to get, but I chose to get this one for her because I know her lifestyle. So this container is functional and fabulous. So you still get more use out of this. And I know she prefer the use. So I got that and that's also blue. Here are some unconventional things you're going to need. I'm going to show you how to build the basket up with saving money. Because you know baskets can become very expensive. All of those balloons from the parties you have and balloons people have gotten me. We're going to, I cut this in half. You could just grip it. We're going to use this as fillers. Save on the environment. Use what you have. Okay. You will need some of this cello wrap. You can purchase these and find these at your local Dollar Trees and Dollar Stores and Family Dollars. You don't even need the whole roll, you'll see shortly. Some ribbon of your choice. I'm using my stash. I'm going to use the blue and the white and mix them to make a beautiful presentation. And you're going to need some kind of filler. Now, I'm going to use white filler for this. I ran out of blue, so the white will kind of balance it out a bit. And then her favorite color is purple. Okay? Her family likes some blue. I couldn't find this in purple. And um, 
and they didn't have many purple baskets either so i put everything else blue but i custom made her glass it just says winey and i made it in purple so she can have her own personal winey glass with her drink with her family okay let's get right into creating this you all okay I'm just gonna start with a flat surface you're gonna build height now you can use newspaper scraps whatever you have because they're not going to see this anyway like i said my balloon i'm going to just put that in there just like so and i'm going to build height on this now i don't need a lot because this container is already low enough where my main thing, because it's a winey basket, my wine is going to stick out anyway. But if you have little items and you want to showcase a particular item as little, you want to build more height and just put more stuff in, okay? The next thing I'm going to take is this white confetti. I'm just going to pull out the pink portions of it and just use the white. Kings and queens, it's looking a little, eh, I don't know. I think it could be better. So I have some leftover gold just using my stash. So I decided to just zhuzh it up with a little bit of this gold fringe. So this is a good way to use your stash and to also give it a little more care. I guess that's the word. <laughs> See? Doesn't that look so much prettier? So I have the height. I have the pretty glitz and glam. So now placement is key. I'm going to start off with my biggest item, which is the wine. I'm going to lean it. Okay? So just lean it in there. And the reason we're going to lean it instead of stand it up, it's a winey group. So consider the group that you're doing. So they want to feel like royalty kings and queens. When you sit down and lean, kind of give you more of that royalty feel. Next, I'm going to put her glass in there. And I'm also going to lean the glass as well. I hope I have enough room for everything it like that now since I have purple on this side I'm gonna balance it out this as we doing um, as they teach you in science which you do the one side do the other I mean algebra <laughs> she'll like that too but she's in education so we just put the purple on that side purple on that side and then I have Things leaning on this side, so I also need to have things leaning on this side, right? Don't have to, but yes. so I'm gonna lean this one across from the other one on this side. Just like so. Alright, now I'm gonna add in her coupon booklet. Now I'm going to just lean this in the back of the wine glass so the coupon will just pop the peek out there i don't know if it's going to show once we add the other items but so far it's peeking out if you can get everything to show outward then we still have these two items to put in so i'm going to balance it i'm going to put eh, shampoo or conditioner let's see now since the shampoo is more so matching the bottle more, it's going to wash it out. So I'm going to put the conditioner on this side and lean it in the back. Because when you have the same colors next to each other, it washes each other out and I want it to peek through. So if you can see that, it's peeking through the clear glass and it's next to the wine bottle so it's not washing out. And then the shampoo, dark on dark, going to lean right on this front side. 
so far, this is how we have it in the inside. Okay. Now, here comes the fun part. How we're gonna build this and decorate it. This is the challenging part because I have to lift it under and get that cellophane over it. Stay tuned. Kings and queens, I realized I had too much weight on one side. So what I did, I just put the big bottom on one side and left the other two bottles on the other side. And I also added the business cards in on the side. But I have videos in the middle of this video and at the end for you to see. I'll have some photos, I'm sorry. So here we are. Here comes the fun yet challenging part. Okay, so just gonna take this cellophane, spread it out a little bit. Put the basket on top of it. Okay. I'm just playing around with it to see how much I will need. I want to make it really, really pretty. <laughs> Okay, so I cut off how much I need. Always cut off more than what you think you'll need because you could always crumble it at the end. And I'll show you that. But if you don't have enough, you're going to have to do the whole thing over. So, I'm just gathering the whole thing together. And I'm finding my center. That way I'll have enough cellophane to go up over the whole basket. Okay. You also want to get a couple of pieces of scotch tape just to tape down the center pieces so they won't poke up. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, kings and queens. So I also took the two ribbons, the blue and white one, and I cut a nice amount. That way I could have enough to curl it. Okay. I'm just tying it around like so. I'm tying both pieces at the same time. Now you wanna have some on the end sticking out. That's fine, that's where the tape is gonna come in. Just make sure you have clear tape so it can't be seen. Put a knot in it. Knot it just like that. Now see this little extra here? We're just gonna tuck that in just like that with the tape. I have a nice big piece of tape here. This is the tape I'm using. Make sure you get enough so it don't come loose. Like I said, they're not gonna see it because it'll blend in. So you just tuck under. Make sure you get the um, strings out of the way. Okay. Put that in there just like so. Same thing you did, you're gonna do on the other side. 
on this side, all I'm doing is the same exact thing. Okay, after you have it all tied up and taped, you want to take some sharp tip scissors. Make sure it's a sharp tip because what you're going to do is tape the plastic and you're going to cut little lines in it. These scissors are a little dull, so I'm just tearing it as I cut. Okay. You want to do that all the way around. Got some more sharp tip scissors. These will work a lot better. Oh, yeah. So that's going to help it fluff out when you get ready to zhuzh it up, okay? Now we have all this ribbon here. So I'm going to, I have four strands, so I'm going to spread them out on each side. take my dull scissors and cut it because we're going to curl it okay now they don't have to be cut the same not at all because when they curl they're going to curl up differently anyway i'm just cutting off some of the excess on all four sides now if you want to make a lot of fringes you could use more or less what I mean by that is you could have, instead of two strands in the beginning, you will have four strands. If you only want it to be a little bit, you just have one color. I just went with the in the middle method. Now I still want it to hang, so I didn't curl it all the way up. I just took my scissors, I lined it up to the middle. This is the middle point. Took the back of the scissors. And pull it down on it. See? So you know, we're not trying to be wasteful, especially on this channel. So you know the extra little that I cut away, all you do is tie it around the center. Make sure your strings are out and that's going to give it that polish defined look like it has a belt on it like a little basket has a belt and i'll show you in a second what i mean by that we're just tying on her little belt now see where i have this there i'm going to tie it I knotted it again. Now this one I'm going to tie in a bow like a belt shoestring method. Since it is a gift, leave it there. And she's not real extra, but she does look like nice items. So what I decided to do is have a little bit of fringe, not too much, but I didn't want to put any in at all because she do like a little friend so keep the person you're making it for in mind and here it is pictures at the end thank you for watching kings and queens like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video when you become blessed bless somebody else have a great day